When making levels, you of course want them to be as detailed as possible. But just throwing a bunch of high quality models into a scene is not very performant, especially if your scene is fairly large. Of course, it makes sense for the models to be detailed when viewed up close, but for objects far away, this detail isn't very important. This is where level of detail or LOD comes in. Here we basically create multiple versions of each model at varying quality and then swap in the right version depending on the view distance. If done correctly, this can be pretty much unnoticeable and make the scene a lot easier to render. The cool thing about setting up lots in Unity is that if you organize your assets in a certain way, Unity will pretty much do everything for you. So first we'll go over how to create multiple levels of details for your assets in Blender and then we'll bring everything into Unity. Here we go! So as you can see, I'm here in Blender 2.78 and what we're going to be doing today is not particularly advanced, but if this is the first time you're opening up Blender, I suggest you at least check out the first video in our Blender Basics course. Alright, so first I want to select the camera, then hold down shift and select the sun and cube as well and hit X and press delete. So now we have an empty scene. Of course, you can go ahead and create whatever asset you want here, but I'm just gonna go and create a monkey. So let's say this is the game asset that we want to create multiple versions of. Well, I think first of all, we could create a level of detail that is even higher than this one. So I'm gonna go to the modifiers and I'm gonna add a new modifier and I'm gonna choose subdivision surface. So this adds a lot of subdivisions to our model. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. And if we switch into edit mode by hitting tab, we can see that there's quite a bit of detail on this model. So this represents our base model, our model in its highest quality. We refer to this as LOD0. So I'm gonna go to the top here and find our model. Our monkey's name is Suzanne. That's right, it's a girl. So we can right click on Suzanne and go rename and we'll write underscore LOD for level of detail. And then I'm gonna put a zero here. And this is one of those Unity specific things that we have to do this exact way. Unity is going to look for this underscore LOD and then an index and then recognize what it means. So we can then go ahead and create alternate versions of Suzanne. So I'm gonna duplicate her by hitting shift D and I don't wanna move her around. So I'm just gonna right click to snap her back to original position. Now this one I'm going to rename to LOD underscore one and I want to go and move this to San onto another layer. To do that I'm going to press M and I'm going to select the second layer here and as you can see down here there are now two different dots on these two layers because there's an object on each one and we can switch between them. Of course we have the same model on each layer but we are now only viewing one of them at a time and we can always quick switch between layers by using the number keys. So now we want to reduce the quality of this model. Of course the best way to do this is go in by hand and simply remove polygons but this is also very time consuming. Often you can get away by simply adding a modifier. So we're gonna go add modifier and we're gonna select decimate. Here we can adjust the ratio and right away you can see that we are slowly compressing our model. I'm gonna set this to a value of 0.5. I think that's a fairly decent starting point. I'm then gonna hit shift D once more, go to the top and rename to LOD2. And again, I'm gonna hit M to move it onto another layer and I'm gonna select the third one. Then I'm gonna press three to move to that layer and I'm gonna reduce the ratio even more. I think I'm gonna try a value of 0.2. Again, shift D to duplicate, right click, go to the top and rename. Finally, we'll call it LOD3. Again, move it to the fourth layer, hit four to focus on that layer. And this time I'll bump the ratio down to say 0.1. So now we should be able to use our number keys in order to see the transition between our different levels of detail. Of course, this level of detail doesn't look too good, but remember we'll be viewing it from very, very far away. And on top of that, our model currently uses flat shading. If we select it and go to the left here, we can hit smooth and that definitely helps hide the subdivisions. So I'm gonna do that for each one of our models. And I'm also going to go through and apply each one of the modifiers. So hit apply on the modifier, go to the third layer, apply, second layer, apply. And of course our first layer does not have a modifier. And that is actually all of the setup that we need to do. If you want to preview how many triangle makes up each level of detail step, you can see that at the top here. So the first one is about 4K. The second one is about half of that. The third one is under a thousand. And the fourth one is just under 400. So now we're ready to export this into Unity. To do that, we'll go file, export, and we'll select FBX. Here we can browse to our project folder, go under assets, and I'm gonna save mine as monkey. And let's hit export FBX. Now when we open up our Unity project, 
we can see right away that we have an FPX in here and under it, we have the four different levels of detail. And this is where Unity is just so awesome because if we simply take the parent object here and drag it into the hierarchy, right away it sets up everything for us because Unity recognizes that this object has multiple sub objects that are all marked with a certain level of detail. And so it goes ahead and creates this LOD group. Now, before I show you how cool this is, let's go ahead and drag our object up here so we can actually see it. Let's also look under the object here and we can see all of our different levels of detail. If we select all of them, we can create a material for them. So we'll go right click, create material. We'll call this material red. We'll set the smoothness to zero. I'm going to set the color here to a nice red. And once again, I'm going to select all the objects and drag in the red material. And if we then select the parent object, it will clearly indicate in the scene view what level of detail we're currently looking at. And as I start zooming out, you can see this camera here is moving towards the right. That's because it's showing us how much space our object is taking up on the screen. And as we zoom out, it takes up less and less space. And in fact, if we zoom out just a tiny bit more, it's going to switch to LOD1. If we zoom out even further, LOD2, and even further, LOD3. Now we can't actually see this happening, and that's of course a good thing. If you want to see this happening more clearly, we can go and switch to wireframe. And here we might be able to see the amount of wires change as the level of detail changes. But still that might not be completely clear. So just to demonstrate, we can go and select each one of our level of details and we can add a separate material to each one. So the first one here is going to be red and I've gone ahead and prepared a yellow material as well, a green material as well as a blue material. And now as we zoom out, you can see that our object changes color. Super, super cool. We can also go ahead and select any one of these LODs and the LOD is going to show up down here. It's going to display the amount of renderers and materials as well as the number of triangles. So we can go through and see the number of triangles here as well. And this is also where you can set up your own renderer. So in case we didn't have the right renderer, we could go in and remove the one that we have. Instead hit add. And now we can go ahead and select any object here. But of course we want the first one. So how does this look within the game view? Well, it looks pretty much the same. If I go ahead and take my scene view here and dog it on my secondary monitor, I can try zooming out with the camera and you should be able to see the exact same thing happening. Awesome. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future one. If you like these videos and want to support them, you can do so over at patreon.com slash brekkies. Patreon is a way for you to set up a monthly donation. You choose the amount and when to cancel it and pretty much everything, but it's a great and safe way for you to support us and the content that we're making. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in January and a special thanks to Sean Carey, Diego Geik, Judeman, Diane Gein, Befio, Infinity PPR, Yorai Omer, Cyborg Mummy, Derek Keemskirk, Mur, Faisal Marify, Beard or Die, John Ramirez, DoubleTap45, James P, Superman the Great, John Burgard, Jason Latito, Alex Wakitsky, Bjorn Fuhrknapp, Suni Jakobsen, James Rod Robert Bund, Rob Fern, and Erasmus.